Have you ever done your makeup before and you stepped back away from it and was like, wow, I cannot believe I did that. And you probably try it again the next day and it doesn't come out the same way. Yeah, well, that's this makeup look for me. Um, I was shocked when I was done, but this is one of my favorite makeup looks because it doesn't have much color, but it has a lot of definition and actually using a lot of brown, which I think I'm gonna explain more about later. But I'm so glad I got it on camera so that I can share it with you guys, but also maybe go back and learn what I did. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. So first I'm gonna start off by kind of contouring my upper brow. And I'm gonna use this large fluffy dome shaped brush because I want this to be very, very blended and the color to be very, very diffused. Um, diffused. So I'm just kind of using the tip of the brush to apply the brown matte eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna go over it several times just to make sure that this color is blended out. This color is not really meant to be seen, but it does give a little definition um, to my eye. It's kind of like the bronzer of my eyelid, if that makes sense. Well, you put it there for a little bit of definition, but the color is not really meant to be seen, much like a bronzer on the face. However, it still contours that area of the face. Okay, now with my eyeshadow brush, I pick up the two most random eyeshadow colors. Hear me out. I picked up Shiny Penny, which is a beautiful golden color, but I didn't want as much of the shine in the shimmer in the eyeshadow. So I mixed it together with Soft Heather eyeshadow, which is kind of like a purple, um, a very, very soft purple eyeshadow color, but it's matte. So it kind of uh, brought down the shimmer effect and it brought it down to kind of a sheen look um, on the eyeshadow, but it's still gold and it's still kind of close to my skin tone. So it makes it very, very natural looking, but without the shimmer, which I love you guys. Like I really, really love. Now using an angle brush, I'm going to pick up an, a dark, dark, dark brown. It almost looks black, but it's not. And apply just a little wedge on the outer corner. That little angle is gonna serve as a guide for my winged eyeliner pen. Okay, let me just break this down because I feel like I've been under a rock, but I just found an amazing brown eyeliner pen. Okay, hear me out. When I was growing up, I never wore the color brown because I just figured I'm a brown girl, so it's gonna kinda get lost. I'm laughing as I'm saying this out loud, cause you know, like kid thoughts. But anyway, I just never used the color brown. I just didn't wanna do brown makeup. I didn't wanna wear brown clothes. So this is kinda my first time playing with brown makeup. Honestly, for the longest time, I just thought it would kind of disappear on my skin. Obviously there's different tones of brown, but I wasn't thinking like that. So I'm playing with brown and I found this brown eyeliner and y'all, I am sold. I love it because it's such a softer and more natural look than black. Black is beautiful and it's very sultry, but sometimes you just want definition on your eye without the, um, you know, the look of black or just kind of the intensity of it. You want a little bit more of a softer look. And I think that brown eyeliner does that perfectly and beautifully. Now I'm not gonna put brown in my eyelashes. This is just black mascara, but that's because my hair is, uh, is naturally black. So I'm just gonna stick with kinda, you know, what I got naturally. So uh, yeah, that's my, that's my deal on brown. Brown makeup, brown everything. Okay. okay, yeah, I'm really embarrassed about admitting that brown story. Um, yeah, I, okay, bye. I know you do the same for me, so stay here all day. So now it looks like I took a black eyeliner and I applied it just on the inner corner, just right um, kind of in the inner tear duct like right underneath the lashes just to connect the inner corner of my eye to the lashes and that's in the color black so that liner um, is in the color black but it's not really going to be shown it's just to kind of make sure there isn't a separation between my inner eye and where my lashes begin And then 
I finish it off with my favorite slap it on and go lip gloss which is Praline by NYX or NYX Cosmetics. You'll see. 